The following content is provided by a I Am Refocused radio contributor. Pastor Vera McEwen with Love God Ministries will be sharing today's message. And now, here is your host, Pastor Vera McEwen. This year, 2023, has been about we in community, in relationship. We began walking through the word relationship with the letter R for respect, asking questions. Are you a person of respect in your relationships? How does God show us respect in relationship? And are the people you're in relationship with, do they respect you? We have walked through each letter of the word relationship, and it's hard to believe that we're already at the close of 2023, all about we, we in community, we in unity, we as a collective working to create together environments where everyone thrives. And we land here on the last letter, the letter P. The question I ask you this day, the question I want to have you ruminate on, think about as we walk through this message and this series of messages this month, is what is your purpose? What is your purpose? Yes, the letter, the letter P in relationship is all around purpose. Turn with me to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 40. We're going to hone in on that very first verse. Verse 1. Isaiah is in the Old Testament, not too far after the psalm. Here, Isaiah begins with Two words spoken, spoken by God's very voice. The word spoken, the word that speaks and creates. And in the Hebrew, the word is nachamu, nachamu. Can you say that with me? Nachamu, nachamu. And it means comfort, comfort. Comfort my people is what God says. Treat them tenderly and kindly. Nakamu, nakamu. And then God, if you drop down to verse 9, says that we should proclaim. Isaiah asked the question, what should I cry out? What should I proclaim in this comfort, in this tenderness? And God says, Proclaim, shout out, cry it out. And the primary message that God wants to cry out to you in your mind regarding purpose is this nachamu, this nachamu, comfort, comfort my people and proclaim, cry out that God, verse 11, carries you. God carries you, Braylon. God carries you, Dante. God carries you, Deborah. In the very heart, God carries you in the heart. The question is, what is your purpose? When you identify your purpose, when you proclaim your purpose and it is in alignment with God as way maker, you will prosper. Proclaim your purpose and prosper in God with comfort, a comfort that carries you tenderly in the heart. What is 
your purpose. Turn with me to Psalm 85. I love Psalm 85, and I really want you to read these first two verses with me. Read it with me and look through them. I want you to find three words. I'm reading from the New International Version. So I want you to open up the New International. Use your tablet, use your iPhone, the middle of your Bible, if you're already using the, the New International Version, because I want you to be on the same version because this version uses three key words. Read it with me, verse one and two. You, Lord, showed favor. You, Lord, showed favor to your land. You restore the fortune of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered their sins. What is your purpose? When you think on your purpose, you need to think on a purpose that includes the prosperity that God wants to have for you in wisdom. And this wisdom are these three F's right here. Favor, fortune, and forgiveness. Favor fortune and say it with me favor fortune and forgiveness thank you soul poet and when you do this god says in verse 12 then the lord indeed will give you what is good when you proclaim your purpose and your purpose is in alignment with god you will prosper proclaim your purpose and prosper with god as wisdom because you will have this wisdom that is spoken through the psalmist that says you will have favor you will have fortune you will have the most important part forgiveness of all your sins in fact it says that god is good listen listen to god it says in verse 8 listen because God promises peace in this prosperity. What is your purpose? Turn with me now to 2 Peter chapter 3. In 2 Peter chapter 3, you'll find 2 Peter chapter 3 all the way toward the back of the Bible in the New Testament. We're going to hone in on verse 8. When we ask ourselves, what is my purpose? What is your purpose? And when you proclaim your purpose in alignment with what God indicates for your life, you will prosper in God's as way maker, in God as wisdom, in God. Why? Because verse 8 tells us why. Because God is patient. God is patient. Why is God so patient? Why has God waited thousands of years? Why is God so patient? Because God, it says, does not want anyone to perish. God wants you to repent and be saved, to confess who you are, believe in Jesus Christ, and be saved and absolved of all your sins. And so God is patient and waiting on you waiting on you to also give you prosperity. Prosperity in light, prosperity in life, prosperity in new life. When you proclaim your purpose and your purpose in alignment with God, as way maker, as wisdom, you will prosper. Proclaim your purpose and prosper in God's glorious patience so that you do not perish, but repent 
What is your purpose? Turn with me to the gospel reading for today. The gospel reading can be found in Mark chapter 1. We're going to start with the verse, first verse, because the first verse proclaims good news. Say it with me. Good news. That's right. The first verse proclaims good news. And then if you drop down all the way down to verse eight, it says there is good news in the word, which we know that the word is made flesh. And that is Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ literally through the word, through the Bible, through anything that is spoken, that is related to the gospels, literally changes water into a spirit, holy through baptism, so that your baptism in this word that changes the water into spirit creates a spirit that lives within you as the Holy Spirit with you at all times. It says, John says, I baptize you with water, but Jesus baptizes you with the Holy Spirit. The good news is that you have been baptized with the Holy Spirit. When you proclaim your purpose and your purpose is in alignment with God as way maker, God as wisdom, God as word, you, Doris, you, Deborah, you, Debbie, you, Dante, you, Tommy, Timmy, all of you will prosper. So proclaim your purpose. And God will as way maker. And God will as wisdom and God will as word change the water of your baptism into spirit to live within you. What is your purpose? In prosperity, We've learned that purpose through Isaiah is found nahamu in a nahamu comfort. And that comfort in Psalm is through favor and fortune and forgiveness, through patience and the good news that changes water literally into spirit. Yesterday, I was out walking. I love to be in nature. And one of my favorite places to go is the botanical gardens. And I love being outside. And there's this special row of pine trees, of evergreens that smells so clean. And as I was walking to get there, I noticed that since I had been there, one of the trees that I absolutely loved had fallen. And I was thinking to myself, because I was thinking about this sermon, what is your purpose now that you're fallen? What, what is your purpose? What is your purpose, trees? What is your purpose, grass? Because we see that God has created trees in relationship. God has created grass and creation in relationship and these relationships continue to prosper as i looked at the tree it had fallen but a portion of it had been cut off that portion had been used to build a beaver dam so that the relationships of the beavers and the environment could flourish could prosper in the favor and fortune and glorious, glorious comfort, Nahamu of God. Remember when I spoke many, many messages ago about Mother Octopus. You can look that up. It was a glorious program about an octopus. And the cool thing about this mother octopus is she had purpose. 
and she was prospering in her purpose. She lived this glorious life and then she created all these glorious new beings. And when she had recognized that she had finished with her purpose and that she had created, she gave herself to creation around her to allow it to prosper as well. It's a glorious, glorious story, narrative. What is your purpose? In our relationships, we need to understand our purpose. God's purpose is to make sure that God's creation, all of creation, you and me, human being creation, creation in the waters, creation in the forest, prospers and God says through this prospering Nahamu, God will comfort and carry us in the heart and we will find what is it the three F's favor fortune and forgiveness because God is patient and the good news oh the good news is that God in patience God in community, as triune, in unity with us, as God's creation. Changes water, literally, so that we are baptized in spirit. What is your purpose? When I think of people with purpose, I think first and foremost of Moses. I'm talking about Moses Harriet Tubman. Her purpose for herself in relationship with God for herself first was freedom. Her purpose for herself was freedom. But then when she recognized that she could create, have freedom, and that she was in alignment with her purpose with God. She chose in relationship to have freedom for all people around her. So she went back over a decade, back and forth, back and forth, 19 times, freeing 300 and plus people. What is your purpose? When your purpose is in alignment with God, everything around you flourishes. Even when you fall like a tree in the forest, you can be used to create a relationship with beavers, to create a community, a collective where everyone thrives. What is your purpose? Maybe it's freedom, freedom for yourself, and freedom for others around you. A couple years ago, I was asked this very question. And many years prior, I had gone through the book Purpose, and I'd also gone through all kinds of things to try and understand my purpose. But at this point, when this person asked, what is your purpose? And they just went around the room like we all had them ready. And you're probably thinking, Vera, you know, I don't know what my purpose is, okay? And that's okay. I felt like I knew exactly what my purpose was. And my purpose was to reveal, take the veil off, unveil the invisible. I had felt that I was invisible all my life, ostracized, not seen, not heard, but invisible. And the really cool thing is that when you align your purpose and your purpose is in alignment with God, you can see that probably all your life you have been doing that purpose. Whenever there are people in my classes and elementary who I saw being ostracized, I would always reach out to them. My mother would say to me, why Vera, do you always bring home the strays? Little did she know I was not popular, I was a stray. So I identified with the strays. 
Growing up in life, I still felt ostracized, unseen. And then I remember the people who saw me and unveiled my true being. And I wanted to be that for everyone around me. When you identify your purpose, when you proclaim your purpose, and it is in alignment with God, you will prosper. More recently, God had shown that my purpose was to reveal and unveil the women of the word. So God placed on my heart over 13 years ago, maybe 20 by this time, to go through the word of God and create this book to reveal the invisible women of the word. It's called Wade with the Women of the Word. And I've published several already. And recently, Rebecca. And it takes you through every woman of the word, unveiling them, calling out their names so that they will no longer be invisible. What is your purpose? And you may be thinking, Vera, gosh, you must have just, if God placed it on your heart, you must have just understood right away. Well, yes, I did. And God has placed your purpose on your heart. Now, you may be thinking, Vera, I, I don't know what it is. That's okay. Because the underlying purpose of Moses, Miss Harriet Tubman, the underlying purpose of Mother Octopus, the underlying purpose of the failed tree, the underlying purpose of me is prosperity. The beautiful thing is when you identify your purpose as prosperity, everyone around you prospers. And God through Nahamu Nahamu desires your comfort. God wants to carry you in the heart so that you'll have favor, fortune, and forgiveness. Because when you listen to God, there is that promise of peace. And when you proclaim your purpose, God is patient in providing you with all that you need, because the good news is that you have been baptized in the Holy Spirit through the Word made flesh. What is your purpose? Ruminate on that. Think on that. So that you will prosper in your relationship with God, in your relationship with all those around you, and in your relationship with creation. Proclaim your purpose and you will prosper in God's way making of comfort, in God's wisdom of fortune, favor, and forgiveness. And God, as word, being patient, providing good news of the Holy Spirit within you. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Hey, it's Shemai Reed with I Am Refocus Radio. Make sure you go to IamRefocusRadio.com to listen to today's episode. Once again, like we always say, keep God first, stay focused, and 